Hey guys, Ben Funnerberg with Hey Man Fishing. On today's episode, I'm gonna walk you through putting out brush piles using Christmas trees. It's a great way to catch a lot of fish throughout the year using brush piles. So stay tuned. <laughs> Guys, it's a few days after Christmas and folks are now getting rid of their Christmas trees and so I take my uh, I got a little small trailer and I usually go up to this uh, convenience center and um, they got a walk-in dumpster where people uh, disregard their Christmas trees and I just load up on them let me show you what I do for making those brush piles so on these brush piles you want to get you some uh, Get you some zip ties, uh, then get you some poly, poly cord, something that's not going to just rot. Uh, and then uh, I use, what I like to do is set my trees up when I drop them in. Uh, I want them to kind of set up right. So this is just a uh, swimming noodle. Uh, I got these old Gatorade bottles, plastic bottles. I use them for... Uh, uh, you know to keep tied to the trees to keep them upright as well and also go to your local hardware store you can pick you up some of these uh, uh, cinder blocks they weigh about 38 pounds uh, a piece very cheap to make your brush piles um, and I'm gonna show you what I've already got made up here and here's your your typical Christmas tree that I've already got ready and made up to put in the water now on the bottom, you want to uh, you want to drill your uh, get your drill, drill your hole, slap through that uh, bottom base, and put you uh, some poly cord in there. I guess you can put about I don't know maybe three four foot of cord and tie it off, make a good knot back there. And then on your Christmas tree itself, uh, you know just don't throw it in whole, but make you some. Uh, places in there where the fish can kind of get up under this canopy uh, and hide so you need to cut it out trim up your tree a little bit all the way around and uh, that way you'll have places for those fish to get up in there. now on the top uh, I put one of these uh, swimming noodles uh, I guess probably uh, six to eight inches you want to cut that off and then use the zip ties to pull that down and keep it tight all right guys we are headed out to the lake i'm gonna drive around here i'm gonna show you where how i drop them in uh what kind of places i drop them in i'm mainly bass fish and uh it's unreal how brush piles in itself uh have bass hanging on them all right guys we got a little small point right here i'm gonna throw them in 14 foot of water this is where I'm going to throw it. Alright. So here we go. Put that tree in. Put it in the water. Alright. That's going down. Now let's go over here and mark it on the graph. Alright. Already showing up. Hit it. You see it right there. It's in 16 foot of water. It's showing up real good. All right. I'm over a, a hump. This hump, uh, you can see here, I got the top of that hump's about 19 or uh, 20 feet now so I'm gonna put one brush pile right on top of that and then we'll take a look at it on what it looks like on forward and downward scan here we go all right you can see right here on the side view that, that Christmas tree right here yeah yeah so let's see if we can get that a little bit bigger you see that right there that christmas tree hanging out 
that. Good picture of it. All right, now let's go over that with the uh, let's go over that with the down view. All right, we ought to be coming up on it. it ought to give us a really good picture of what this looks like with uh, the down view. There we go. Here it comes up. Really good picture of that Christmas tree sitting in uh, 20 foot of water. That's gonna make some, for some good fishing later. Now let's I'm gonna put that forward scanner on here. Give you a good idea of what it looks like. I got now. Remember, yeah, I was telling you about the guys. They watching me over here. Uh, yeah, once it goes in that water, it's a fair game for anybody. Okay, so that's 60 feet out, and uh, yeah, we'll see on the hunt. So, okay, guys, brush piles. Where to place them? Um, you can put them where there's existing brush piles. You know, uh, once those brush piles get in the water, they belong to everybody. So, or if you've had good luck at some places where uh, you caught fish before, put a brush pile down beside it. I mean, uh, that old one's eventually going to deteriorate unless it's made out of plastic. I'm going to show you a few places. Let's take a look on the map here. Okay, here's the ideal location. We put some out this morning. A hump. It's in 20 foot of water. And it drops off into the river bed, which is the deepest part. It's about 47 foot. Uh, right below this one hump is another one. It's 25 here. So this area around in here would be ideal. All right, let's look at this point here. You have... Uh, this point coming out into the water, real shallow. Uh, you got nine foot right here, and then it's dropping off down to 23 foot. Any of these places in here would be good. Actually, you could put one in a little bit of shallow water, one down here in the deeper water, because you know fish they're gonna change depth throughout the day. They they may go shallow and then they may come in go deeper. So this is the ideal situation right here to put brush piles in. Now, in the back of the creeks is a great location. Um, places back in here, these little smaller points um, is ideal. Um, here's an island out here. I'd put one out in front of it. Um, back here in the back of these creeks, is great back here in the back all right and don't forget guys you got underwater uh, road beds those are great places to put uh, brush and here's a bridge um, around these bridge pilings all down through here and last of all don't forget about your uh, creek uh, channel that's running out to your main channel now i know this is showing like 40 foot of water but i've caught some nice fish in deep water uh, so i would probably put a brush pile there that might not be the norm for a lot of folks but these creek channels coming in out to the main channel where they run in these are like the highways for the the bass, the the, uh, the bait fish and all, they're gonna move in and out of here. So I would probably put me a brush pile or two in there. Well guys, I hope this uh, helps you if you're thinking about putting out Christmas trees. Until the next time, God bless all of you and have a good week.